It's a little windy. I think we're going to go probably up there. It's not too bad. This is Guernsey summer. One day it'd be glorious sunshine, the next day it'd be 4 6 and 100% rain. Well, we're used to it now. Come on, girl. Start up. Richard, it's pretty windy. Where are we going? I don't know. It's... I can't believe it's the middle of June. And I feel like I could need do without a thermal vest on. Well, where are we going to go? Is it going to be right or is it going to be left? I think it's probably going to be turned right. Oh, into the wind. And then what's the tide doing? Is the tide coming up? No. It's going down? It's coming up, but it's still going south. Okay. So it'll be nice and slack. And I know how you like I was like it's slack. <laughs> Welcome back below the waves everybody, I'm JP Fallays and you're joining us on a dive to this location that with these hypnotic black and white lines, we call them the slag beds but probably more accurately it's uh, clinker beds. Probably asking yourself why is it here and how did it get here? This is all the all the unburnt coal that's out of the boilers from the old steamships. It used to go into a hulk um, or a lighter barge and they used to bring it out of the harbour mouth and just basically dump it on the seabed. Times have changed and now it's uh, quite a good home for some sea life. doing too bad so far I don't think any other diver's been in front of us maybe not down this exact route that we're taking so we're doing okay Plenty of junk on the seabed like this. I think this is an old cast iron valve of some sort. I can see a Tom Pop Lenny just poking his head out the top. They look really cool, but he's really photogenic. Got little tassels on top of his head. Just gonna show it to Mish. I'm sure she'd like a picture of that. Currently in 30 meters of water within six minutes. Still got loads of time left. After all, we've only just started the dive. Mm. 
190 bar left. We should carry on now because we're going to run out of time pretty quick at this depth. I've got a feeling we're close to the shipwreck. Loads of these small poor cod and a huge sand eel by the looks of it. Or a launch. And there's the other type of fish. Matt the mate coming to steal our scallops. Look at him, look. Right in close. Take a quick look in the crab pot. Nope, nothing in it. So that's been there a while and the door's been ripped off as well and also the neck's been removed so it's probably been done by another diver it's about time we got out the deep and swam back up the slope on our right hand shoulder try and get into some shallower water yep feels like we're right near that shipwreck now it's the shipwreck of the Beaufort or the chunks of the boat for anyway. Could do my old trick and follow these fish and it would probably take me to the next available chunk to look at. But we're scalloping on our first one. We're not exploring anything like that, so we've got to carry on. Oh, what's this? Looks like a bulkhead light of some sort. It is. It is a bulkhead light. Just a glass of it. Quite sure if I saw the ship records just been thrown off the side of a fishing boat. Probably the latter. We'll carry on. No, we won't. We got one minute left. Probably best we went back to the surface. Because it's a little windy out in the sea, we're going to head back to the mooring and shock the first load of scallops we caught and then head back out for our second. A bit of double action going on. Matt up the front. And Keeney in the wheelhouse. Our second dive is going to be a nice one. Rich has taken us to his special reef that's full of crayfish. Okay, Just to do a little bit of filming. Lovely. Can't show you where this is, um, otherwise the whole place will be completely covered in nets and pots and every fisherman and his dog will be here, so it's top secret this one. Tend to lay on my back and keep swimming down until Mish is alongside me and then we roll over. Just as well I checked when I did because we're almost at the bottom. It's a shallow one, which is why I didn't swim into that in the back of my head.
We're almost there. We're almost to the secret spot. Not many scallops around here, but it's probably because it's off the beaten track. And here it is, the special reef. No, only joking. It's actually behind here. I'm just having a little look for some scallops first. Here's our reef. Just need to have a look for the crayfish now. Can't see any so far. Gotta be around here somewhere. Gotta carry on looking. For the look of the flashes, I think Michelle might have found some found some nudibranchs. There is actually loads here. I can see him. There's a few around here. I'm just going to point my camera at the macro lens at all sorts of random stuff because it's probably the only way I'll be able to see them. They're that small. up a bit of dust there. I think she's annoyed.
I can watch a shoal of sand here all day. It's just organised chaos. Nothing glittery in. Can't like the shiny stuff. Right, we need to go and have a look at this reef because I'm sure uh, Richard's having us on about all these crayfish we could be seeing. One last look at the sand eel. Literally thousands of them. I can see a crayfish. Can anyone else see the crayfish? Right there. In fact, I could see more. One, two, three, four at least. They're decent size as well. Pretty cool. Let's have a go at filming them. It's worth noting, I only started seeing these back in 2015 and I've been diving six seven years previous to that well maybe longer actually but they are actually illegal for divers to take um I'll, i don't even pick them up i don't touch them at all because it is illegal and to be honest it's nice to just look at them sorry i couldn't help myself out to touch the antennae i think there is actually more on this reef i can see antennae a bit further down we'll take go and take a look at them in a minute but so far so good we have found at least four.
Plenty of nudibranchs here. I don't know what type they are. But the clear, clear ones with yellow bits on. I'm sure Mish would know. There's been a few more crayfish on this reef. Certainly been spoiled for them on this occasion. This one's a little bit smaller than the other ones. Probably, I don't know, eight inches, I suppose. You can see the bottom of the size of my hand compared to it. But then again, I've got a large hand. Well, large hands, because I've got two large hands. Plenty of fish up above us. And every so often this rass comes down to say hello. Don't know what he's doing, he's probably just keeping an eye on us. He's definitely spying. Well, as a wrasse, there is actually juvenile pollock as well, but they're quite hard to see and they're quite far away. There's plenty of a smaller fish here. There's a small shoal of gobies just here. Very hard to see, so we'll macro it so you can have a little look. Time to return to the surface. We're running really low on bottom time now. 37 minutes long dive. Still got 70 bar left. Could have stayed down there for another 37 minutes. That was awesome. Some guns going up. I think they're firing at us. Chip that! <laughs> <laughs>